guys welcome back to my channel um so i didn't check in on monday night it was just a bit busy after weighing so i did knit back down to my weight watchers group and i got weighed in and it's a couple of weeks since i've been and anyway i was the same weight so i'm really really pleased about that so it was a maintain um so considering i've been out and had the odd cheeky pizza and, and things, you know, before I decided to get back on track. I'm um, I'm pretty, pretty happy. So I'm going to um sort my <laughs> marbles out, so to speak. That's my my little marbles in my jar for my weight. Um because I must have miscalculated my weight before I'm not sure what I'd done. So for some reason in my head I had it I was thinking that I'd lost six pounds, but on my little booklet it is um it's only four and a half. I think that's right. So um, I shall have to put um, three little marbles back into my other jar. So I'll do that. Um, I'm going to take you upstairs uh, and just show you why I need to get myself back on track. So um, bear with me a minute. Right. So I am back upstairs and these are some of my dresses. And to be honest, none of them fit me. And I've got some absolutely lovely ones in here oh well this one fits me um because it's literally just off the sh shoulder and it's just like a smocky type dress but um let's see there's some really lovely ones i bought this one in the sale and it's from oasis and i haven't even worn it because it doesn't even fit me and um Look, what a bargain. It was meant to have been £55 and I ended up getting it for £20. And um, it's beautiful. But um, look at the back. And I've not worn it. I've got loads of dresses I've not worn. Again, another nice little pretty one for summer. Bought that in the sale. Really floaty, pretty dress. Can I get it on here and I can show you better? And so, yeah. Oh, so I've got all these lovely things to wear. I wore this to the races last year. I'll pop a little picture in of that. But even this, I just look massive in it now. I've tried to wear it again since. And it's really pretty. It was off the shoulder. Oh, it was just gorgeous. Oh, that's a favourite dress of mine as well. It's really nice on. I've just dropped one. Oh, there's just so many. And just... Nothing fits anymore, and it's, you know, oh, they're all falling off the hangers. I've got to come back and tidy up. I've got loads more dresses um, packed away and other bits that aren't even in my wardrobes. And as I say, nothing looks nice. I used to really like these ones. These are the um, like Amy Child's dresses, and they fit really lovely. I've got a few of her dresses. Um, they fit lovely if you're slim. They no longer fit me. <laughs> but yeah, because I've got boobs and a bum, so um, curvy. And they're just the beautiful, beautiful dresses. Um, this is one of my fat dresses. But again, it's really pretty. And it's like a thick wrap over. And it's really lovely on. Um, it's another Amy Child's dress. Little asymmetric dress with a cutout. Obviously, for when I was feeling slimmer. Um, and I bought this one. This is a Jane Norman. Never worn it. It's got all lovely sort of detail on the front. Really pretty neck. This must have been when I was going through my blue phase. Um, oh, this was one of my favourite dresses. I'll pop a picture of this when I was looking really trim. Again, another Amy Child. And I just loved this one. It's got like sort of plummy roses and the brown roses on it. It's a like a lime, limey green mixed with like a, an acid yellow. Really lovely dress. Um, little lime one never worn. Just like little bodycon one. That's a coast one. That's a little 1920s dress that I wore for the Christmas do. And I've got like skinny trousers. I call it your leather look trousers. Some little jackets. Lots of little leather skirts. And then sort of tops on the other side. And I've got, as I say, I've got loads of things packed away. And like literally, 
everything is just so tight on me. So these are just for going out clothes. And as I say, I've got more. Oh God, I've got some down here that needs to get packed away. Um. So yes. When I say, I, put my, I must drive my husband mad because he'll say, what, are you, are you coming out? And I just don't want to go out anymore because I feel like nothing fits me. Yeah, so, sorry, as I was saying, yeah, I just feel like nothing fits me now and I just feel really bloated and fat. And I love wearing dresses. And then I've just stopped wearing dresses now because I just feel like I look dreadful in them. Um, so I'm just, I don't be so bad. I think it was just like, but I just feel like I'm really like bellyish, if that makes sense. I feel like my stomach really sticks out, and um, so yes, yeah, so I've decided enough is enough. I'm not going to buy any more clothes, although I have just bought a couple of tops um, this week. But um, I've decided you now the only way to get me sorted out is just to stop buying clothes, and then I'm going to have to just slim down and fit into the things I've already got. So um, yes. There we go. I'll go back downstairs and check you in a moment. So, yes. So, that's my new strategy. I think I'm going to just start trying my clothes on and then just feeling really uncomfortable so that I need to just pull my finger out. Um, I'm wondering if it would be helpful to post daily my food diary. But I think, you know, I'll probably get a bit sick of that and a bit fed up and it would probably wear a bit thin. So... Either that, I just do my weekly weigh-ins, do my midpoint, and maybe just sort of, just do sort of twice a week updates. Um, and I'd said I was going to share my magazine, so I'd been out and bought the new magazine. Apart from an, I am an absolute plonker, and I've bought the same magazine I already had, which I'd got a few weeks ago, which is um, this one here. So I think what we'll do, we'll have a little look through, see if we can get some inspiration for some meals, and um, and then I might just. Um, I think I'm going to cook a bolognese pasta bake so I'll do that as well so you can sort of um if you want to see that recipe just keep on watching and I'll, I'll show you that um it was a slimming world one but I was going to um I'll convert the points over and sort of let you know um how many points are in the complete thing and then you can sort of work down how many sort of portions you want to make I mean you can get four really big portions out of it but um I think it definitely you could probably get six as well to be honest so, I shall be back in a moment. Let's look at this magazine. This is actually the, the March magazine, but it has been out a few weeks. Um, hence the reason why I got um, sidetracked a bit and I bought another one because I, I just saw it last week in the supermarket. This week in the supermarket. And I just assumed it was a new one. Um, so, it's funny. So, I've, I've given my mum the other one that I'd bought. So... I just let's have a quick look at the meal plans and see if there's anything of interest. Um, let's see. I'm not sure if you guys get the magazines or not. If not, would you like to sort of have a look at them like this every sort of month when they come out? Um, we can sort of focus on any of the features and things. I just think it's quite good seeing the people that have lost weight. It's quite inspiring. And it, it sort of makes you realise that they're real people and we can do it as well. So there's some really good sort of losses and things. So it's I always look at how tall they are as well and um and things like that. For see people that are similar heights as me and then um, similar start weights. Although to be starting at ten stone too, I'd be quite happy at that. But um bless her. <laughs> Let's have a look. Like that skirt. <laughs> this is not why I'm here. Let's see. So there is a jerk style sweet potato curry. Um, so I'll just hover over here, and then if you want to um, have a look at that, then you can sort of pause, or you can look it up online. Or if you let me know, I can always add in some screenshots or something, or provide some links. Um, sounds. Really, I'm not really bothered about men's journeys. That sounds so rude, doesn't it? But. There we go. I just want some nice things to eat. Let's see. What she lost there. Oh, wow, look at this. She was 20 stone, 5 pounds. And she's now 10 stone, 12 pounds. No, she's... Oh, her gold's 10 stone, 12. And her current weight is 10 stone, 1. So she's totally smashed her girl weight. She's five foot five. 
That is amazing. Oh my goodness, where's her before? <gasps> that's her there. And then that's her there. That's incredible. Doesn't even look like the same person. That is mad. That's really inspirational. Well done. Oh, fish and chips. Oh, sorry about this. Let's have a look here. What have we got? Oh, so here's the ideas of food that we're going to be looking at. It's quite good that they lay them all out like this. So let's see. And it gives you your shopping list as well. So maybe I should just follow this and then I can just do my shopping online and then I'm not going to get sidetracked. And then this is a really good idea as well, isn't it? So you can just um, scan these meals straight into the app on your phone and that it adds it into your, um, your diary. So that's really, really clever. I really like that idea. I might get a little... Um, Folder, I think, and just um, start saving these. That's really good. Let's see. Obviously, it's been all about pancakes for the being pancake day last month. This month. Um, let's have a little look. So, they've got Monday jerk style prawn rice bowl. Whilst I would probably enjoy that myself, my husband doesn't like prawns, so we won't be having that. But this looks nice. Tomato and mozzarella chicken bake. Do you know, actually, I could maybe do that. Let me look at the ingredients. Because I was going to do a, a bolognese pasta bake. But I have actually got mozzarella and I have got chicken. So I might do that instead. And they've got baked mushroom and spinach gnocchi. Um, oh, cod curry. Well, I'm not sure how I feel about fish curry. And uh, spiced chicken, lentil and squash salad. Again, I would eat that. My husband wouldn't. Um, but yeah. So that's the, um, the jerk style prawn rice bowl, which looks really delicious. And there's, um, there's your ingredients. And so is that 12 smart points per portion? I'm uh, wondering, I don't know, does that mean per portion? I'm sure it probably is, yes, I'm sure it is. And then, well, the chicken looks nice enough, here's Ruby. Hello, Ruby. Are you wanting me to feed you? Hi, you. Um, I'm not too bothered about the gnocchi as well, I mean, I like pasta, but gnocchi's not really my thing. Cod curry, not really my thing. Um, that looks lovely. It looks so nice and that'd be delicious in the summer. What else is in here? Oh, for Mother's Day. Um, oh yes, I have your breakfast. Um, oh, that looks quite nice. Apple and vanilla bean porridge. I quite like porridge. Um, I like the um, overnight oats with all your frozen berries in. I really like that. Um, what have we got here? So, tofu and bean curry with broccoli mm, not my thing but I, no but i'm sure it'd be very nice um so i think we're in the lots of pulses and things here this will um make it a bit windier won't it and uh, what's that one is that chicken and lentil soup with spiced yogurt looks very substantial And, oh, I saw these, these um, Slim Noodles. I think they're made from rice, I think. Um, pasta Slim Fasta. That's <laughs> um, only nine calories a portion, so that's incredible. It's a bit like the, um, like the low noodles. I've seen them somewhere else. And um, what's it? We've got braised lamb with barolotti beans. Again, it looks very hearty, doesn't it, for this sort of time of year, especially with the current weather. And then slow cooked pork and beans. Oh, sorry, so that was the um, the first one. And this is the slow cooked pork and beans. Oh, noodles. Thai style noodles. Style? Thai style noodles. Oh, ice cream. 
Um, so we've got Mediterranean pork stew. So if you see anything here that you'd like me to try, do let me know and then I can just make them. Um, roasted cauliflower and chorizo risotto. Now that I do like the sound of. Um, I really, really, that, that sounds really, really nice. And chorizo is quite a bit of a treat, isn't it, really? Because you always think it's so fatty, but it's so tasty. Um, so some little pasta dishes there, um, little flatbreads, and um, a little tart. So to speak. What else have we got? I'm just going to sort of quickly flick through, because this is just going to go on for a long time. But do have a look, and then... Um, if there's anything you want me to do, as I say, I'll um, have a go. Or if there's um, one of your recipes that you love, if there's like a meal that you really like and you want to sort of see if I can find a um, a Weight Watchers version of it, let me know and then I can um, have a look at that. Oh, and I'm missing my weights an awful lot. Oh, I need to get back to the gym. Once this course is over, I shall get my life back. Um... Here we go. It's just little sort of all the different features and things. A little spa break. Um, oh, makeup. So here we go. I do like my makeup, as you know. Um, this is meant to be really, really good. The colour 24 hour tattoo. Um, and so is this. But if you're wanting concealer now, I'd um, recommend having a, a try with the new Revolution M um, Concealer. It's really four quid. And they're um, meant to be extremely, extremely close to the tart shape tape. And that's about £22 a bottle compared to four. So um, it's worth a go. Um, let's have a little look. What else is there? Um, blum, blum, blum. Some mascara, Bobby Brown. A little bit of blue. Now, stick blushes seem to be making a comeback as well. And so do these sorts of earrings. I've not got any yet, but they're gorgeous, aren't they? They're just um, very texturised. Oh, I've got this. I've not used it yet, this Go Go Tint. It's by Benefit, I think. Um, yeah, I've got some of this. Um, I'll need to give it a go and see. Where else are we? Oh, a bit of exercise, get moving. So here we go. Your... Is this is meant to be low intensity um, interval training, I'm not sure. So, oh, I suppose it's for, um, so you don't have to put too much impact on. So, there we go, a little bit of there. Bit here. Bit here. <laughs> Does this class as exercise if I just video it? Maybe not. Well, maybe I'll do that next time and we'll video me doing it. <laughs> or maybe we won't. Um, just a little bit here about how important it is to um, look after your hormones and health, your hormonal health. Um, and I think it's quite nice, actually, this magazine. I've not really looked at it properly. So it looks like a bit of sort of looking after your well-being as well. So that's really important. Uh, Ruby's got her toy. What else is there? Just a few Q and A's. Um, so yeah. What else have we got? And I think is it time when the next magazine's out? Don't but ah, here it does. So next one's on sale the seventh of March. So now I know. So that means next next week I'll um, be able to get the new magazine, and then we'll have a quick look through it. And then we'll try and work out. So just telling you about the stockists. Ooh, big tights. So all your little adverts and things in the back. And that's your lot. Right, so I think this video has gone on for ages. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish this one. And then if um, I video my, me making a meal, I will do that as a separate video. And then that way, um, I'll probably do all my recipes um. I'll give them their own little section or something. So, um, yeah. So, there we go. It's so a quick update, a quick weight update, sort of drawing the line. Um, I would really like to lose two pounds this week, I think, but having said that, any loss would be good. I'm still craving carbs a lot. 
and I, I get into a vicious cycle. So like the more carbs I eat, the more I want, and then I, it makes me hungrier and hungrier. And I think it's just my body's just probably banging out loads of insulin, just trying to deal with all these carbs. Um, and then that's what you get your sugar highs and lows, don't you? So I need to just have a couple of days, I think, of um, reducing them back just to give my body a break. And hopefully I shall be able to then just get back in control of things. So how are you all getting on? Let me know. Let me know. Because I am interested. And then... Um, it's been great to have so many comments and, and people sort of popping over onto my giveaway as well, especially like like you Weight Watcher and Slimming World crowd. That's really, really nice because often on the giveaways, it's all mainly the people that follow for makeup and things. So it is open to everybody. So, you know, it's open to, to you and it doesn't have to be makeup for your prize. So if you check out my giveaway, I'll pop a link at the end of the video and then you can have a little look for yourself and decide if you want to enter it. Um, So... I shall see you later. My contact lens is, oh, giving me a jib. I feel like it's going to fall out. Um, so, yeah, take care. And um, I shall take you through to the kitchen later and make some dinner. And that's it. So, see you later, guys. Thanks a lot. Don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, and catch you all soon. Bye. <laughs>